something that I have wanted, a real one, for a very long time. And we were planning a trip to Europe. It was the first time that I had gone. And my husband kept asking me, what, what was I going to shop for? And I kept telling him I wasn't going to shop, except for one thing. And I told him that this was what I wanted, and I knew where to go in Germany to get it. But that was not on the itinerary. <laughs> so we had to, you know, shift gears a little bit. And in the Black Forest, there is town after town. They do nothing but carve wood. And I brought all the little figures home in my suitcase, very carefully wrapped. But I couldn't get the manger, the scene. I couldn't get that home on an airplane. So they told me they would mail it, but I didn't have any choice. I couldn't hold it in my hand to get home, and we lived in Canada at the time. This was the culmination, I guess, of a lifetime's collecting Christmas ornaments. Every place we ever went, I came home with at least one Christmas ornament. And then as my boys got older, I thought, I need to not come home with one, I need to come home with two. <laughs> so it was a family joke that I got teased about the Christmas ornaments that you know, you bought in sweaty, touristy places to come home with Christmas ornaments. <laughs> <laughs>